For 34-year-old David Ellis, simple things like even walking can be painful. It just hurts for, you know, my feet to touch the ground. It, even my, my clothes can, can be painful, just the clothes touching my skin hurt. He was diagnosed with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome. And for the past year and a half, he's been getting lidocaine infusions at St. Paul's Hospital. The anesthetic injections have a numbing effect and allow him to do basic things. With it, I'm able to, to get out of the house a little bit more. I'm able to do a little bit of exercise, just a little, little, bit, of, little bit of walking. Before the pandemic hit, he received the treatment every four weeks. But due to physical distancing rules of the hospital, the treatments have been delayed and pushed back to every seven weeks. Without it for long periods of time, I become over, overwhelmed by, by pain and like this bone crushing fatigue that's in, indescribable and unimaginable by mo most people. Pre-COVID, the clinic at St. Paul's Hospital had capacity for seven to eight treatments per day. Now it's down to four or five. In a statement, the hospital says it triages and schedules patients based on urgency and says it's working to offer treatments in more settings. All kinds of things have been disrupted. Maria Hudspeth with Pain BC says services for those in chronic pain have been cut across the board. But it's also things like physiotherapy, going to the pool, going to the community center for a gentle movement class, taking a mindfulness um, program to help reduce stress, which impacts pain. So all of those kinds of treatments have been disrupted because of COVID. In the meantime, there is nothing Ellis can do but to manage his activity level and not overexert himself as he waits for his next appointment. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Richmond.